Divorce laws are fucked up in California, you know that? You know if you've been married for 10 years, you get a divorce, you gotta pay alimony for the rest of your fucking life. Or until they get married again, which they're not gonna do, because they're getting a fucking check. Rich men are fucking stupid and insecure. I had to ask myself, like, why the fuck am I so sad? I got a nice house, I got cars and shit, I got a TV show. I think about it, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Then I realized it's because I'm married. <laughs> I was so much happier before I met this mother Why, What is it about women that y'all don't want to admit being wrong? Why can't y'all ever be wrong? What's in y'all that won't allow? Like, nobody want to be wrong, but after a while, men be like, you know what? You fucking right, I was wrong. Women don't have that shit. So guys, we're about to watch a clip from the Plastic Cup Boys. I recently went to go see Kevin Hart and they're his opening act. And a lot of them have a lot to say about marriage and relationships. So I decided to pull up this clip and I think it's, I, I, I have not watched this, so this is a blind reaction. So what you guys see, I'm seeing for the first time. But before I do, go back into it. Make sure you subscribe. Also hit the like and leave a comment and let me know what you think about his take on this or my take on it once we're done looking at it. All right, let's get back into it. My wife is a fucking accountant. How you an accountant with no accountability, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Women can never be in a doghouse, you ever notice that? Man, we get in trouble, we be in a doghouse for months. We gotta buy flowers, sleep on the couch, all type of bullshit, we get in trouble. Women get caught out there too. They be in a doghouse for one day. Like, look, either you gonna get over it or not. <laughs> Can I be mad for a couple days? <laughs> Men are the ones, like, we different in marriage. We the ones that just want peace. All we want to do is be left the fuck alone. We just want peace at home. We say goddamn five times a day. <laughs> what I do now? Oh, shit, goddamn. <laughs> I left what out? <sighs> goddamn. <laughs> Women are the opposite. Women treat you like at home, you lazy motherfucker. <laughs> Can't stand your ass. And as soon as you got in public, this is my husband. <laughs> He's on TV. <laughs> like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> when you complain about your relationship, you always got some single motherfuckers saying, well, if you're unhappy, why don't you leave? How about you mind your fucking business, all right? <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. You shut the fuck up and let me vent. Because <laughs> single people got. But what he's saying is true. <laughs> now, I don't know about putting someone in the doghouse for months. Who, who can keep up that type of energy? That sounds kind of psycho to me. Like, if for months you're put in the doghouse. But then I also say, how can he be put in the doghouse? Like, take yourself out the doghouse. Am I just being too, am I being unfair? He can't take himself out the dog. Okay, I'm thinking too hard. Let's keep going. You got all the fucking answers, right? <laughs> you don't know shit, that's why you single. <laughs> People stay in relationships way too long, you know. They be like, oh, it's the kids. It ain't the kids, fuck the kids. <laughs> People stay in relationship for one reason. Nobody want to admit it. It's because you're insecure. You're afraid that your partner is going to find somebody better than you. That's what you're fucking afraid of. I did. We all got shit we don't like about ourselves, right? We all got insecurities. Look at me. I got some big ass eyes. <laughs> if me and my lady break up and she come around with a with regular eyes, I'm going to kill that <laughs> You and regular eyes are dead. Cause that let me know the whole relationship you was thinking when I leave this motherfucker, I'm gonna find somebody with some regular eyes. I'm gonna bring this regular eyed motherfucker around my door, I'll kill you. <laughs> divorce laws are fucked up in California, you know that? You know if you've been married for 10 years, you get a divorce, you gotta pay alimony for the rest of your fucking life. Or until they get married again, which they're not gonna do, cause they're getting a fucking check. Dr. Dre had found out he had to pay his ex-wife $2 million a month for alimony. That motherfucker had a stroke. <laughs> Rich men are fucking stupid and insecure. 
Because they don't want their woman to have their own bag. Because they think that their woman is with them because of the money. So if she got her own bag, she don't need me. She don't need me. So they keep them just not working and shit. What you're doing is setting yourself up to have to pay alimony for the rest of your life, okay? Now I know better, all right? Now I just opened up a fucking business for my wife, all right? I'm about to open five more of them motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm hashtagging uh, couple goals, power couple, empower the black woman. I don't mean none of that. <laughs> I'm getting that the bag. You gonna have more money than me. When we get a divorce, bitch, you paying me alimony for the rest of your life. You got me fucked up. California is, I mean, okay, he said a lot there, but California, I did not know that if you've been married for 10 years, I thought she gets half. I didn't know you have to pay alimony for the rest of your life. I gotta do some research. Maybe I should start going into the actual divorce laws in different states and like dissecting them and kind of doing videos or takes on them. But my, like what, California right now, I just watched a documentary about the homeless crisis, the crime crisis, the, the taxes. Like why is anyone still in California? But for real, I don't think he told any lies about marriage. They always say there's truth in comedy. They just say it in a way that people can digest. And so you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I, I think what he was saying was, you know, that he's being facetious. Like he's talking about if, if you, you know, I don't want them to come get somebody better. No, you don't want her to leave because you about to end up you about to end up uh, paying for the rest of your life. That is insane. And but what he said about rich men being secure, so the women the woman doesn't work, so it they lead with money, but then it bites them in the end getting with a woman or marrying a woman or having children with a woman um, who makes less because when it all ends, all the benefits go to her, regardless of anything else. If you guys have been together for ten years, I need to look up what it's going to be if you haven't been married for 10 years i'm sure it's it's not as bad but it's probably close to it but anyway guys leave a comment below let me know what you think and i will see you guys on the next one mm -mm -mm. bye